New surveys have been conducted as part of the European Rawfill project on the landfill of the Ono Quarry at Jemep sur Sambre. Rawfill aims to develop tools and knowledge to support circular economy around materials recovered from landfills. Several geophysical methods have therefore been applied at Ono with the aim of determining soil composition. The first of these, the seismic refraction method, uses a network of several dozens of sensors, called geophones, which collect information transmitted by seismic waves. Nous plaçons les géophones tous les deux mètres de manière à, lorsque nous créons notre onde sismique pour l'acquisition des données, atteindre ce qu'on appelle le bedrock, donc la roche, essayer de voir à quelle profondeur elle se trouve et quelle géométrie cette couche de roche a. Nous utilisons un marteau avec lequel nous tapons sur une plaque. The information collected in this way enables us to identify the types of material spilled in the landfill, all the way down to the limestone bedrock, which is the host rock. L'idée, c'est de pouvoir imager des interfaces entre différentes couches au moyen de la réfraction de ces ondes. Et donc, en fonction des différentes vitesses de propagation des ondes dans chaque couche, on va pouvoir mettre en évidence différentes couches au niveau du sol. Donc, il y a eu des cendres, il y a eu de la chaux, et qui se mettent vraiment sur le calcaire, qui lui a vraiment une, des vitesses sismiques beaucoup plus rapides que de la chaux. While seismic refraction is one of the most effective geophysical mapping methods of soil layers, it is interesting to combine it with other investigation techniques to obtain a more accurate image of the landfill contents. Three other methods have therefore been applied in this instance. The electromagnetic method can be used to rapidly explore large areas and provide a preliminary estimate of the electrical conductivity of the subsoil. The magnetic method consists in measuring variations in magnetic fields. It aims to locate and size buried metal objects such as munitions, drums or pipes. Ground penetrating radar applies the same principles as radars and is used to investigate the composition and the structure of the ground. Next March, the Rawfill project will be at the halfway point. The first results will be presented in France on the Les Champs Jouaux site in Normandy where geophysical surveys have also been conducted.